Hello, art students. I'm so happy to see you all again this week. Are you ready for this week's lesson? Me too. So this is week five, and week five's lesson is all about traditions in our community. What are traditions? Well, traditions are basically something that is passed down from generation to generation, something that is shared, or something that we do time after time, or year after year, kind of like the same. Sometimes it is like a family tradition, so, for example, maybe every year on Thanksgiving, you make a big turkey and invite all of your neighbors to come eat at your house. That is an example of a tradition. Maybe it is you go camping every summer with your family. Or it could even be something as simple as every night you read a bedtime story before you go to bed. That could be another example of a tradition. So traditions are something that can get passed down from generation to generation also. So for example, my grandmother, who is no longer alive, but when she was alive, she made the best chili ever, ever. And it was the same recipe that her grandma made. So her grandmother started by making this beautiful chili that she would share with her family and then her grandmother taught her how to make it. So she started making the same chili. And then she passed down the recipe to me. And so now I have my grandmother's traditional chili recipe that I can share with my family and friends. Traditions are very important in communities, in families, because they sort of like make things a little bit more special. We remember them and we often look forward to them. One of my favorite traditions comes from a group of people called the Native Americans. What do you know about the Native Americans? Well, the Native Americans were a group of indigenous people. They were the, actually the first people who lived here, all the way up from North America down to South America. These were people that were here before any of us, before you or me or our great grandparents or anybody. And they still have descendants today. That means they still have family that lives today. The Native Americans have beautiful traditions. They have beautiful traditions that are centered around family and around the earth. And one of my favorite traditions they have is their traditional dances they do. They do these beautiful dances with their families or other members in their tribe. And one specific dance I'm going to share with you today is called the Hopi Butterfly Dance. The Hopi are a group, a tribe of Native Americans, and every summer, early fall, they celebrate with a dance called the Butterfly Dance. So after all the vegetables and the fruits are harvested, they it's kind of like saying thank you to nature. It's saying we are ready for the rain and thank you for all of these beautiful animals on the earth and especially to the butterfly because butterflies pollinate. They pollinate all of our flowers and our fruits and our vegetables. So it is a beautiful dance to say thank you to the butterfly. So it's a tradition every year the Hopi people celebrate with this beautiful dance. I'm going to share with you just a little bit about um, what this dance looks like. Let's check it out. Now, in order to sort of honor and recognize the Hopi butterfly dance, 
we're going to do a really fun art project today that has a lot of possibilities. That means I will show you how to make it very easy and then you get to use your imagination to think of maybe a new way to do it. We are going to be creating a simple butterfly design, symmetrical, meaning it's going to be the same on both sides. And then I will show you and give you some examples or some ideas about what you could do with it next. Let's go. Hello, art friends. Well, I don't know about you, but I was super inspired by that Hopi butterfly dance and also by just thinking about nature and how cool nature is. So we're going to create a butterfly. We're going to be practicing symmetry and we're going to uh, be creating it in kind of a different way. Uh, for this project, you really just need a piece of paper and a pencil, scissors, and I have some other items over here that I might be using also. So I keep some of my art supplies organized in a little pencil box and in my pencil box I have some markers, I have some colored pencils, I have my eraser, I have crayons, and I have a glue stick. So these are other items you can use today and we will be exploring how you can use these in your butterfly project as well because this project is really cool because you can just do almost anything with it. You can start with a very simple symmetrical shape and turn it into all kinds of other cool things. So I have these supplies off to the side here, okay? Because I might use those later. But really what you just need to start with, very basic, scissors, a pencil, and a piece of paper. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to fold my paper in half. So it looks like I have two pieces of paper. Only need one for right now. Maybe I'll do something different with that other one. I'm going to, um, uh, fold it in half this way. So in art class, sometimes I call that a hamburger fold or, um, and, uh, or a book fold because it's kind of like you're making a card or a book, right? So we're not folding the paper the skinny way. Sometimes we call this a hot dog or a taco fold. <laughs> but right now we're just doing the book fold, the hamburger fold. So simply just fold your paper in half the best you can. I always say match up the corners the best you can. If one hand holds it, then the other hand can smooth it out, increase it, and fold it like this, right? All right. So the only tricky part to this art assignment, this art lesson, and it's not really that tricky, but we're going to be drawing half of the shape of butterfly wings. Only half. And we're going to be drawing on the fold. So check it out. This is the fold. We're going to be drawing our pencil lines out this way off of the fold. So make sure that your fold, we're gonna start with our pencil touching the fold, okay? So if you start on the other side where it's open and you draw, it's not going to work. If this project is not going to work, well, it might work in a different kind of way. But for this project, I just want you to make sure you're drawing on the fold, okay? So the fold is where the paper is folded, right in half there. And I'm going to start very simple, okay? I'm gonna start with a very simple shape. However, if you think it's too easy, you are more than welcome to try something different and something challenging. But if you just watch the basic step, then your imagination can take you in all kinds of other different places. So a butterfly is symmetrical. That means right down the middle of its body, its wings are basically the same on each side. So I'm only gonna draw half of the butterfly here. I'm going to draw up the top part of the wing and then down the bottom part of the wing and back to the fold. So my pencil is touching the fold, not at the very top, kind of more towards the middle. And it's going to touch the fold. It's going to go up, 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 like climbing the mountain. And it's going to come back down till about the middle of the paper, right? This is about the middle of the paper. And then, watch this, I'm gonna take that line back down towards the corner, and then simply back towards the middle. Okay, if you need to 
uh, rewind that and watch that again. You are more than welcome to. It does not have to be exactly like my shape. And you can play around with different kinds of shapes. This is just, like I said, a very easy way to understand the project. And from there, you can do all kinds of cool things. All right. I'm going to take my scissors. Let's just make sure. Let's make sure I, I started on the fold. Okay, good. I started on the fold. I'm going to keep the paper together. Okay, I'm going to keep, I'm not going to open it and cut it. Okay, so don't open it and cut on the lines. Keep it together. Keep the paper together like this. And I'm just going to cut carefully along my pencil lines. Now I have, right, I have adult scissors. I do not have kid scissors, but hopefully you have a pair of safety scissors. Those are like specifically for kids, so they're not super sharp. All right, I'm gonna just cut along my lines. I'm actually going to save, I'm gonna save the scrap paper and I'll show you why in a little bit, okay? I'm gonna save these pieces of paper because a lot of times we can use um, scrap pieces of paper uh, for other things in art. All right, now all I do is open it up. Okay, and check it out. It's perfectly symmetrical. That means this line is called the line of symmetry because it's literally right in the middle and the shapes on this side match the shapes on this side. And that is a very basic butterfly pattern. Very, very basic. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple tricks that you can do uh, to, to change this a little bit. But for now, I'm just gonna keep this very uh, basic butterfly pattern. And let me tell you why I, I kept the paper. Because um, I, I left a space in here, but a butterfly has a body. It has a body that goes straight down here. And so I thought it'd be fun to keep some of this paper and make a body for my butterfly. If you wanna start with pencil first, you can. But it's just gonna be kind of like a long oval. I'm just gonna make like a long oval on my scrap paper. Here, let's move that out of the way so you can see better. Kind of like this. And this will be my the body of my butterfly. And you don't have to do this step. This is a step that you can do, like um, an additional step. You can actually just color this. You can just color this butterfly. You can color it um, with markers, colored pencils, crayons, and actually just make a beautiful piece of art with, with just this basic pattern, right? But I just decided that maybe I was gonna do a butterfly body and if I have some glue, which I hope everybody does, I'm just gonna do a little swipe of glue in the middle, put my little body, my little butterfly body in there, and I'm gonna have some fun. After I finish this one, I will show you some other tricks about what you can do um, if you wanna do other steps. But for right now, I am just going to stop here and I'm going to take some time to color and decorate my butterfly. I'm going to think about symmetry because I'm going to be basically making the same patterns on both sides. And I'm gonna be using markers because the markers are really fun to see on the camera, okay? So you're gonna see it go really, really, really fast and then we'll come back and I'll show you some other ways that you can approach this art project. If you feel like this is too easy, you're like, oh, I wanna do something even like cooler than this, then we will explore some um, other some other options in just a bit, okay? All right, first I'm just gonna go ahead and color this guy. Okay, now that we have sort of the basic idea of uh, what we're doing here, let's, uh, let's just explore. Let's try something a little bit different. So we're gonna start with the basic idea, the same kind of basic idea. We're gonna fold our paper in half, book fold, hamburger fold, whatever you like to call it. 
fold it down. Fold it with the other hand. I'm going to just sort of smooth the middle. I'm going to smooth that fold with my fingers. I'm going to um, <clears throat> do a sort of like a butterfly shape, but it could also just be like a cool insect, right? Most insects are very symmetrical. So it could be a different kind of shape. This is the part where you get to sort of explore and have fun. So I'm gonna do something kind of similar to a butterfly, but we're gonna just, uh, we're gonna explore a little bit more and see what we can do with it. So once again, I'm gonna start on the fold. I'm gonna start drawing on the fold. If you forget, if I can even open this up, if you forget, remember the fold is where the paper folds, where it creases in the middle. So we're gonna start, our pencil is gonna start on that fold. And um, I'm gonna just start with maybe a, just a little bit different shape, kind of come down, uh, maybe just a little different kind of wing, just to see what happens, just to see what happens. Now, while I'm doing this, you could also explore different kinds of paper. If you have access to uh, construction paper, like colored paper, that would be something cool you could try or maybe some old wrapping paper or some old magazine paper. <clears throat> you just take a, any kind of piece of paper, fold it in half and do the same kind of idea, right? But I always just like to start with really simple materials because not everybody has all those other cool things in their house right now. All right, so once again, I'm just going to uh, cut around the pencil lines best I can with my adult scissors. Please use your kid scissors. These scissors are for adults. Our hands are bigger and they're sharper. We just have more practice. So uh, hopefully everybody has some kid scissors they can use. And I'm just doing my best to cut around the pencil. Okay, if you don't do a perfect job, I'll show you what the cool part is. If I open it up like this, I can see my pencil lines. And if that bothers you, you can do your art on this side because there's no pencil lines on this side. But guess what, I'm not done. This is actually a really cool symmetrical shape, like almost like an alien butterfly. But guess what, I'm not done. I'm gonna have a little bit more fun. I'm gonna fold it back. And kind of like when we make snowflakes, I'm gonna just gonna cut some really simple shapes on the fold. I'm gonna cut on the fold. If you wanna start with the pencil first, so you if you're scared about messing up. So I'm just gonna do maybe like a triangle there and let's do half of a circle there and maybe just a triangle there. On the fold, my pencil started by touching on the fold and I'm gonna cut those out. So I'm following the pencil lines with my scissors and actually remove part of the paper. So I cut it out, right? That means there's space now. There's space where there, where there wasn't any more, or excuse me, where there wasn't space before. Cut on those pencil lines just like this. Now let's open it up and see. I mean, that looks cool just like that, right? So let's just open it up and see what we have now. Ooh, I like this shape a lot. It almost looks like a mask. It almost looks like a mask, like, eyes and a nose and a mouth. So now let's do the same thing. From here, boys and girls, think about it. Do you have glitter? It, would you like to paint your shape? Uh, do you have a Sharpie and make some cool designs? Could you put a string? Could you put a string and hang this beautiful shape somewhere or this beautiful butterfly and let it float around? Uh, do you have a piece of colored paper you could glue this on? Okay, there's all kinds of ideas that you can do from here. But once again, I'm just gonna fast forward and we're just gonna have a little fun and see what we can do with this one. I can't wait to see your art this week. I know everybody will come up with some kind of new and creative way 
to celebrate the butterfly or any other kind of tradition maybe that you have. Remember, you don't always have to turn in the homework lesson that I give you. If you have a different idea, like for example, maybe you want to draw a picture of you and your family celebrating a tradition. Just remember, after you take a photograph of your art, please also click on the microphone to tell me about it because I want to hear your ideas. Okay, my friends, thank you and I will see you next time.